Uh, first of all, it was great to be back in the pyramid again, uh, playing in front of our home crowd. Uh, you know, I noticed just a lot of student athletes, or not student athletes, but students uh, in the stands on a Tuesday night. So we definitely appreciate that and the support. So I want to thank everyone for coming out on a Tuesday. Uh, you know, I was proud of the girls. Uh, we had a couple, um, you know, bouts where, where we just didn't, we kind of let up a little bit. And first set, you know, we missed some serves uh, in which we've been working on all week and we're trying to do some different things. So, um, you know, we've got to go back to the drawing board and continue that. I thought we played well in the second set and then had a little bit of a hiccup in the third, but glad that the team uh, pulled it out and we're happy to come home with a win. Uh, you know, and again, uh, unfortunate for, for San Diego. I know they had a kid go down in warm-ups and, uh, and then a kid go down uh, during the match. So um, I'm hoping that both of those kids are okay. Uh, Coach, you touched a little bit on um, kind of the back and forth and closeness of the first set and then you guys pulling away in the second and third. Um, what changed for you guys for the second and third sets? Uh, you know, we started kicking our serving. I, uh, we've been working on it, uh, working on a routine, working on technique, uh, and now it's just transferring it into competition and going back there and, and giving their best, um, you know, serve that they can and, and sticking with the routine. Uh, and, and we're still a little bit young in that area. We're going, we're trying some different things. And, um, you know, I think our, the difference between the first in the second and the third was was just we got into some you know a groove serving and um you know we're we're not going to beat good teams unless we're serving and passing so let's talk a little bit about your offense you guys hit 309 tonight um what was working um offensively for for the team uh well katie kennedy had a big night on the right side uh tia chavira did a really good job setting the offense uh and and katie and I, I, you know, I don't have my glasses on, but I, hit, I think she hit something like a 500, 529, I'm going to guess, 522, <laughs> close. Uh, but a, a phenomenal night by Katie. We worked a lot on our um, offense uh, from the right side this week. Uh, so that was nice to see on the court and some execution there. Uh, also, Tia really distributed the ball well to Kashana, who had another good night, and she seems to be able to be consistent and put up uh, these nights where, you know, a lot of teams worry about Kashana, so it's opening up a lot of hitters. So I always tell the girls that, hey, if I'm on this team and I have Kashana, I'm really happy because they're all going with her and, and I get set and have to deal with one block. So I appreciate that. Let's talk a little bit about Kashana as well as uh, Erica Lovett both leading the Big West in kills and aces, respectively. Uh, talk a little bit about their performances and what uh, they bring to the team. Yeah, you know, uh, Kashan is obviously a big time, uh, you know, attacker. Uh, she's really worked on her game, uh, you know, just being able to have different range and vision. And so we're seeing Kashana be very consistent. So we want to continue with that and work on other parts of her game. Erica is a good ball control player, but, she, you know, Erica is a freshman. She's learning the system, and she's trying to work her way in it. Um, you know, I'd like to see Erica make less errors and start off a little quicker, uh, you know, like more out of the gates. I think it takes her a little time to warm up, but Erica always seems to, by the end of the match, pull out some good numbers. So, you know, again, Kashan is our, a big-time attacker, and, and Erica adds to that too, but she's also a good ball control kid for our team. Let's talk a little bit about defense. Um, Nicole Hoff, a, another great night for her, and uh, you got Jenna Giambi back. Uh, talk yeah. a little bit about that. Yeah. Uh, well, first, Nicole's just phenomenal out there, just flying all over the place. If you watch the game, she had a couple <laughs> amazing digs um, and controlled them. Uh, but with her, Dylan, and Jenna, because um, they're kind of our, you know, I don't know, our three amigos, I guess. Uh, Jenna's been out for a little while, so it's, it was nice to see her back in action and and, um, and uh, feeling a little bit more comfortable out on the court. Thank you, Coach. Yep, thank you, guys. Okay. Um, Katie, you got the start tonight, and you really made the most of it. You uh, tied your career high with 15 kills, hit 522. Um, what was clicking for you tonight? Um, like Joyce said, Tia did a great job running our offense, and – we just talked about it in the locker room when when a hitter starts making connections and getting those kills and the setter trusts you a little bit more and you're able to connect a little more often. 
Um, so it was just nice to have that between us. And, um, you know, it always goes back to passing as well and serve receive and the defense in transition are those balls getting to the net and allowing Tia to, you know, jack it back when I'm on the right side or um, and serve receive running those twos. And uh, it just feels good to have that setter hitter connection. Speaking of that setter hitter connection, um, you've had two setters to work with this season. Started the season with Kashia, and now you're um, working with Tia. I'm sure you get a little bit of action with both of them throughout, you know, practice. Mm -hmm. um, what what is that like, and how is that adjusting to two different setters? Um, well, it's nice because they both have similar rhythm, and I think that just goes along with the rhythm that we're taught on our team. And um, the sets are there's always an expectation for the speed and timing and all that. So. Um, it's not like a crazy difference going back and forth. Obviously, they're two different people and different energies and stuff, but I love working with both of them, and I'm excited to get Kasha back. And, um, you know, it's always a blast being able to trust your setter and know that they're going to put it there for you and um, run a fast offense and beat those teams. Thank you, Katie. Mm -hmm.